I don't know, can he? For quite some time now, I've been wondering who would win in a fight between Wolverine and the Hulk, and if Wolverine could even kill the Hulk. Obviously, I know a majority of the time, the Jolly Green Giant is going to end up wiping the floor with the man who has six kitchen knives that sprout from his knuckles, but I can't help but root for the underdog here, especially since he can heal from every wound and has virtually the strongest metal known to man fused to his skeleton. And he can also quite literally cut through anything like it's butter. Which to me in this case means that Wolverine has a lot going for him to make up for the Hulk's overwhelming strength and ferocity. Most of the time when the two fight each other, most of the occurrences have the pair landing a couple blows on each other until the common enemy emerges which ends up leading the two working together, defeating the villain, and then sorting out their differences later. If this thing kinda sounds familiar, it's cause it literally happens in almost every single versus story ever. Batman vs Superman, they take on Grey Sludge villain. Captain America vs Iron Man the government. So I did some research by checking out a majority of the fights between Wolverine and the Hulk to see if Wolverine could actually stand a fair chance against the Hulk, and possibly even kill him. And in the realm of comics, with alternate worlds, timelines, and so on, there can be dozens and dozens of different fights between the two. The most popular out of all the fights that I have found was the Ultimate Universe version of Hulk vs Wolverine, which is where this really famous panel of Wolverine getting straight up ripped in half comes from. This story is also really fucking wild, pretty much like everything else in the Ultimate Comics, cause Wolverine smells Hulk's poop to track him down, and after getting ripped in half and climbing several mountains to fight Hulk again, Hulk is just doing the nitty gritty with his is Hulkified X. Yeah, that's Ultimate Marvel for you. And Wolverine doesn't really ever stand a chance here in the story. Pretty much every time he encounters Hulk, he gets messed up. And the Hulk even ends up eating his legs. Heesh. Another popular one that's next up is the dark future of the Old Man Logan comics, where Wolverine tries to take his revenge on the Hulk after killing and eating his entire family, where Hulk inevitably eats Wolverine gruesomely. But in a sort of funny turn of events, Wolverine ends up sprouting out from the Hulk's back after slicing his way out. When I think about it now, it's kind of funny that the Hulk managed to eat Wolverine in two completely different storylines that have like nothing to do with one another. But I bet that made you lose your appetite. Those are the two more famous examples of them clashing in alternate future or universes, but they fought a fair few times in the comics set on Earth-616, which, if you don't know, is the main continuity. And because I'm trying to prove a point here by making this video that Wolverine can probably kill Hulk, I'm just going to be skipping over the occurrences where Hulk actually ends up winning or it becomes a tie because I really want to focus on Wolverine winning here. Just specifically the times where Wolverine has either clearly or at least overwhelmingly arguably won the fight between the two. Because after all, the title of this video is Can Wolverine Kill the Hulk? Now the first instance that I wanted to go over was when Wolverine was one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, particularly death. Wolverine crosses paths with the Hulk at this time, and during their short fight, Wolverine relentlessly stabs the Hulk in the neck, extremely close to just outright killing the Hulk here. But fighting against Apocalypse's brainwashing and his berserker rage, Wolverine comes to his senses enough to stop himself from landing the killing blow. This instance in a fight between Wolverine and the Hulk, Wolverine is clearly the one who comes out victorious, despite Hulk later walking away. Another example of a Wolverine win over the Hulk came from a fight between Wolverine and Grey Hulk. And before people call me out on anything, yes, I know Grey Hulk is a much weaker Hulk, but in my book, it's still Hulk, so that's all that matters. I already know in the comment section I'm gonna hear a lot of, Oh, that's Grey Hulk, he's not a <laughs> But, doesn't matter. It's my video. What I say goes. So in this story, the Grey Hulk is fighting Wolverine, who's trying not to give in to his berserker rage and be the better man. However, the more and more Grey Hulk strikes on Wolverine, the more the fury and the rage encompass everything else in Wolverine's head till he explodes with hatred, stabbing Grey Hulk through the stomach. After stabbing Grey Hulk several times, Grey Hulk falls back, almost seemingly dead, as Wolverine lets out a primal roar akin to a wild animal shouting to the moon. Until Grey Hulk would come back to his feet soon after, healing from the wounds given to him by Wolverine, growing stronger. In this instance, Wolverine had given into his berserker rage, and that's what the captions in these panels were referring to. Wolverine felt that, although he'd beaten the Hulk, the Hulk had won because he forced him into releasing the animal side of Wolverine. And in this instance, it's technically viewed as a draw between the two, but realistically, Wolverine had gotten the upper hand in the fight, and it was only when he was trying to assert himself as the man over the beast side of him that the Hulk had the advantage. And with that comes my next and final example that I could find Mind, which was the most prominent on hundreds and hundreds of threads that I sift through while researching. And it comes from the pages of Savage Wolverine number 5, where in this instance in the comic, Wolverine was on an island with Amadeus Cho, Shauna the She-Devil, and obviously the Hulk. A battle broke out between Wolverine, Shauna, and the Hulk, and here's how this one finished. 
I will admit that this is a little inconsistent with the continuity because there have been other times where Wolverine has attempted to stab the Hulk with no success because it said his blades can't penetrate the Hulk's skin. But again, there's no doubting the victor of this particular battle as six adamantium claws directly to the Hulk's brain certainly made sure he wasn't classed the victor here. After this fight, almost about a minute later, the Hulk ends up getting back up, walking off the shish kebabbing of his brain, and just goes off to fight some aliens and shit. But there's no denying that if this went another way, Wolverine could perhaps slice the Hulk's head off and probably keep him from ever coming back to life. But then again, when you're a Chad like me and you've read Immortal Hulk, you'll know that even if the Hulk is cut up into several pieces, he'll still come back to life regardless of the state of his body. God, that run scarred my eyes so much. Like when he rebuilt his body like this, or even just the disturbing transformations themselves really. If you ever want to read a freaky Hulk story, that's one you should definitely check out. And I already know a lot of people in the comments are going to be mentioning, like, World Breaker Hulk. And, yeah, I mean, if World Breaker Hulk is going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Wolverine, I'm pretty sure that World Breaker Hulk is going to destroy Wolverine. There's no, like, doubt about that. I just kind of wanted to pose this, like insane scenario where like Wolverine could probably do it because like I said in the beginning of the video I sometimes really like to root for the underdog so in essence Wolverine can beat Hulk in a fight as shown from these examples but in regards to killing the Hulk I don't believe he can at all given how we can come back from pretty much anything but I'll also say the age-old cop-out where it really just depends on the writer of a particular story like for the story old man Logan where he bursts through his back or decapitates him in those particular stories, he's killed the Hulk, but I don't believe he can do it in any other ones, except for maybe if the writer makes him do it. But with that, this is going to bring an end to the video, and I really hope you guys liked it, and I really do appreciate all your love and support, and we actually just hit the landmark of 400,000 subscribers, which is insane, and it actually has me really excited because I've literally been saving a story to talk about for like maybe six months because I've just been waiting to hit 400,000, so I really can't wait to bring that all to you, and... As always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as always, I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Here's hoping that through the manifestation of making this video that there's actually a boss fight in the Wolverine game where Wolverine actually manages to kill the Hulk. That'd be peak.